Are you wondering why business skyrocketed? Why some remain stick? Well, today, we are diving into the secret of success with lessons from two legends, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Now, growing a successful business today requires solid skills and knowledge. But many entrepreneurs find themselves stuck because they don't have the right business skill. That sounds very familiar, right? Well, stay tuned because we are about to change that. Let's kick things off with Big Gate. Picture this. Gate, just a young guy, saw that computer without software were like empty boxes. He realized that software was a key in making this box a powerful tool. Smart, right? Gate wasn't just living in the moment. He was looking ahead by controlling the software market. He knew he could dominate the industry. You see, surrounding himself with brilliant people helped Gate focus on his strengths, which was coding. While his team was handling the business operation, this move turned Microsoft into a software giant. Could you just imagine what you could achieve with the right focus and the right thing? Before we move on, if you are finding this useful, Please, hit the like icon. Next, let's talk about Steve Jobs. Picture Jobs in his garage, working on the first Apple computer. He had a vision that computers should be as easy as the typewriter. His vision was making technology accessible to everyone, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. In the 1980s, he tried to do everything by himself, almost lead to Apple's downfall. When he came back in 1997, he brought in Tim Cook to manage the operation. This free job to focus on innovations and designs. Can you see the pattern here? Delegation is the key. Now, what can we learn from Gates? First, strategize like a chess player. But how? Both Gates and Steve approached their industry with the precision and the foresight of a chess master. Get identified the rising significance of software. Position is pieces to dominate the sector, much like a player who controls the center of the board. His strategy revolves around anticipating industry move and seeing opportunity before competitors even saw them coming. On the other hand, Jobs envisioned the future of personal computer as a game-changing move, like advancing Ignite to a critical position. He focused on integrating technology seamlessly into everyday life. Okay, mirror a chess player who plans several steps ahead, predicting the opponent's reaction and setting up a decisive checkmating. Similarly, in business, you have to think ahead and plan your moves strategically, anticipating future trend and customers' need, just as a chess player envisioned the game ahead from the opening moves. Speaking of strategy, here is a quick tip. Start brainstorming where you want your business to be in the next five years. Write it down and break it into actionable steps. Next, delegate and empower your team. Get and jobs knew their strengths and their weaknesses. Get focused on coding and hire business executive for the day-to-day -day management. Jobs learn to trust Cook with running the company, allowing him to concentrate on his visionary ideas. So. Find people who complement your skill and trust them with responsibility. Let's talk about share ownership. What is this all about? Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, all share ownership with investors, enable you for new innovation also. When employees own shares, they feel more committed and motivated. Consider how you can implement this in your business. And finally, innovation is the key. Gates and Jobs were always ahead of the curve. They transform the software industry and jobs to revolutionize consumer electronics. You have to keep innovating and thinking about the future needs of your customer. Remember this strategy and start using them today to see your business thrive. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, share it with your families and friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for wonderful content like this. Catch you in the next video.